Hey guys, Yankee Prepper, and we just rolled into September, which means we're on the doorstep of another season change. I love the seasons, and being up here in Minnesota, I get to enjoy four distinct seasons and changes, and each one of those seasons represent a whole new set of activities and ways that I can enjoy the outdoors with. Summer for me at this stage of my life means a lot of family activity. So the whole summer I'm, I'm biking and fishing and we're, you know, camping, uh, mostly base camping. Now I have the RV, so I have that option as well. And we're going to state parks, family vacations, things like that. Now as we roll into September, now I'm getting into more hiking or I'm getting into fall uh, canoeing or I'm getting into hunting. And that brings on a whole new set of equipment for me and I'm going much lighter. I'm not going to be base camping as much. And also that brings up what I'm going to be eating. If I'm going light, like if I'm going on a canoe trip, a hiking trip, backpacking trip, I'm going to want uh, lighter foodstuffs to carry. And I love how this, this outdoor hobby activity kind of meshes into my overall lifestyle. Um, you know, I often refer to prepping as a lifestyle, and I believe that it is. It's changed my life, that's for sure. But food preparation, food preserving, cooking... All these things are really a cornerstone of this lifestyle. I've shown you many recipes, both for the home and for the trail. And today I want to show you a few more that I've kind of honed in there. I would call them cheats, actually, because I'm used to dehydrating all my own food and making these recipes and packing them together specifically for, for what I'm using them for. But these meals are kind of a starter meal that I buy off the shelf. I can add a few things to it and then adapt it for the trail. This is a dehydrated meal kit that they sell at Target. Usually they'll sell them two for $11. And it says it serves four, but realistically I think it would be good for two adults on the trail. If you're camping, you tend to eat a lot more. They're made by Modern Table Meals. I think there's four different kinds. I've got Southwest uh, bean pasta, Italian bean pasta, and homemade uh, homestyle mac and cheese. Now what I like about these, besides the price, or what you would buy for camping food, these have no artificial colors, no artificial preservatives, they're non-GMO, and they're gluten-free. So they're pretty healthy meals as they are. Each one of them, per serving, comes with 20 grams of protein. It's really low in fat, but they're a high-protein meal. These make a great starter kit for making your own lightweight camping meals at home. The only downside that I see to this is that because they are a real food, there's no preservatives in them, they're just dehydrated, uh, they've got about a year shelf life, at least that's what they give you on the bag. So I would say you could probably squeak two years out of this. But with the way I rotate my uh, food storage at home, with this, which is within a year, I'm easily going to use these up. If I don't use them camping, I'll just pop them out for a meal uh, when I have to. The way I set these up for a camping meal is I augment them with other ingredients. I'll use uh, my own dehydrated burger. Or I'll use, if I can get a good deal on Mountain House like I have here, I'll use Mountain House ground burger. And I'll use a little uh, powdered butter. And then I also add some essential oil into them so I can get some of the, that needed fat, especially in the cooler, cooler weather. Uh, you've got um, a bean pasta. That's the main ingredient of all of these meals. And that's great for carbohydrates. you got a lot of protein in there, but they're super low in fat. So for me, adding them you know, into my packs for the trail or camping or canoeing, especially, like I said, into colder weather or winter camping, I need a little fat in there. So I, I add meat for that, and uh, I'll add essential oil also to back that up. So what I do to turn these into an acceptable meal for the trail or a hunting trip, I'll take a boilable vac pack because I don't like dishes. I would rather just boil everything in the, in the bag. I'll take my start base meal and I'll take a cup of ground dehydrated burger. I'll put that in there and then I'll take you know a container of olive oil, two or three tablespoons, and I'll stick that in there. Now I always carry dehydrated butter with me so that'll be in my pack and then I'll just seal this up and that's my meal for the trail. So I'm getting a much better meal and much cheaper than what I can get from you know any of the major big name manufacturers of uh, dehydrated camping food. This is a much heartier meal by the way as well. Uh, a meal for two 
weighs about eight ounces and as long as I've got my homemade heater pack I can easily bring that back to life on the trail or in the campsite in the woods. Another thing I want to give a quick word to and throw in on this video are these hash browns for the trail. This will be something that I'll be carrying uh, along on some of my trips. Golden Grill Russet Hash Browns. I get them in I think six pack or eight packs from Costco. Super cheap. They're more than enough. It makes a crap load of hash browns for two guys. Uh, weighs just four ounces and no refrigeration, nothing needed. Just reconstitute them with some hot water and then fry them up. Now if I bring along some egg beaters that I froze, you know, the first night or two, I can make a huge breakfast and uh, throw some cheese on top of that and be camp hero, at least for that day. And lastly, I'll leave you with this. Splendid starts mashed potatoes, dehydrated mashed potatoes. Potatoes are an awesome food to take on lightweight uh, backpacking or camping or canoeing trips, hunting trips, because they're very nutritional and they pack a big punch. they got a lot of energy in them. But <laughs> dehydrated mashed potatoes can really vary. I've had horrible experiences. You know, I'm constantly out there looking for new products or uh, willing to try at least new products. And sometimes I'm really happy with it, and other times I am, you know, it just doesn't work. A good example of that are these potatoes. I bought these about, I'd say, four years ago. They're Honest Earth, all-natural, creamy mashed potatoes. Come in little packs like that. Horrible, horrible. What I'm using them for now is to fortify the dog food that I take in uh, camping and canoeing. I just mix that up for him. He seems to love it, but they're not good. So sometimes you get stung, but these are good. And that's the reason why I make these videos, because I want to pass it along. These come in little packs like this, and they're really awesome. Super tasty. Spot. I want to say it's like nine or ten bucks for ten pouches, and each pouch has a serving size of five people, which that basically translates into two really hungry guys, maybe three. But the bottom line is it's super good. And that's what counts the most. Again, you can fortify any meal with that. You could take some of that uh, dehydrated hamburger and just add it to that, or even bacon bits, and it'll just make a you know a good trail lunch or, or uh, dinner. But good stuff. If you can get it, buy it. It's awesome.